G'day guys, this is a quick video from Melbourne Scrap Hour on how to differentiate different types of metals so you can get the best price. Now just a quick word on scrapping pots and stuff. Obviously a pot is worth more being sold as a pot than a scrap. Scrap is the lowest price. But I am not a pot salesman. Would you like a pot? Would you like one? What about a cake tin? You see, it's just not going to work. So I scrap it because I couldn't care less. and. I find that more fun than selling pots. So here's the first question. How are we going to differentiate what's aluminium or aluminium or alley as I call it and what's stainless steel and what's steel? So the big test is, is it magnetic? Check out this magnet I got for Father's Day. I reckon it's grouse. Look, it picks things up. That is steel. Steel pile. Not magnetic. Not magnetic. Okay, so how do we differentiate? The next step, is it aluminium? or is it stainless steel? So there's a number of tests you can do before you actually have to hit it with an angle grinder uh, because not all of us can get an angle grinder. So the first test is the sight test. Now over here, it's quite dull isn't it? Not so shiny, a bit of a matte finish if you will. That is aluminium. Over here, stainless. This is very shiny, so it's stainless. The next one is the sound test. This has got a bit of a tingy sound, that's stainless, tingy, whereas aluminium, a bit more dull, a dull sound. Then we have the scratch test, take my word for it, aluminium is easier to scratch than stainless steel. Then there's the spark test finally, aluminium will have no spark, whereas stainless will spark. And you could use a drill, uh, angle grinder, you could even do a drill or a a cutter, whatever you want to do. This guy I bought, we'll do another video on angle grinders. Look, small regrets, I wish I got a cordless, would have cost me a fortune more, but anyway. You live, you learn. Uh, just to confuse you, there is another kind of variety, which when it comes to being magnetic is, well, it's sort of magnetic, and that is magnetic stainless. And that also, just to confuse you more, has, doesn't spark. Now, the price varies for non-magnetic and magnetic stainless steel, just to confuse you. Clarify with your scrapyard. And just to show you, this there's a very mild magnetic pull that I get on part of this pot. And I couldn't believe it. So it's partly normal stainless, partly non -mag magnetic stainless rather. Just to confuse you. Alright guys, keep scrapping, keep enjoying yourselves, keep classy, stay classy, get one of these magnets, I reckon it's grouse and uh, scrap safe. Bye.